Hey guys, welcome back. This is MD and I'm gonna show you how to get infinite gems fast and easy in this game. This is actually late in the game and I need a lot of gems to duplicate my items instead of just you know finding items and creating them over and over again. So I just want to create them once, then I want to duplicate them. You know, so I will never run out and I will never have to like go and search. So this is why we need a lot of gems. Uh, stay tuned to the video at the end of it I'm just gonna show you uh, all the materials that you need and where to get them and even if you are like early in the game or mid in mid game I'm gonna show you how to get gyms uh, quite easily as well so what we're doing here uh, now I'm just unlocking the ancient philosopher's store as you can see I only got one quantity one unit so what I'm gonna show you is we will try to get 37 units you know pair synthesizing and we're gonna use gym reduction and we are gonna get around 30, 30, uh, 370,000 gems. So what we need, we need one ether engine, we need one philosopher's stone and we need 10 cross cartridges. So here we are, we are, I already have them all. By the way, the items that you see here, these are the items that will unlock the recipes for all of these items, you know, the philosopher's stones, the cross cartridges, blah, blah, blah. So everything is here. So I'm just gonna go and show you how to create uh, the ancient philosopher's stones or 37 units of, of ancient philosopher's stone the items that I'm using to create the ancient philosopher's stone are each one of them is a synth quantity plus three and I'm gonna show you what it means so as you can see now we're creating one quantity but when I add the ether engine it's gonna be four because the ether engine has synth plus three the philosopher's stone has synth plus three so this is why we have seven now I'm gonna add ten cross cartridges here so this is why the units are gonna go uh, to 37 and I'm gonna show you by the way how to create these items I'm gonna show you how to create the cross uh, cartridges how to create the philosopher's stone how to create the ether engine by the way you can press R1 to select them all at once I'm just showing you to individually but you can just press R1 to just put them all in so yeah one ether engine one philosopher's stone 10 cross cartridges make sure that all of them have synth quantity plus three just create one of each then just uh, duplicate them so as you can see this is what I used uh, so yeah uh, I'm gonna use the gym reduction now and I'm gonna show you how much we are gonna get so now I'm gonna reduce the ancient philosopher stones into gyms and I'm gonna get 370,000 gyms which is a lot and well, I will use these gyms to duplicate uh, the ether engines, the philosopher's stones, and the crossed cartridges, and it's gonna go on. So, how to create uh, the philosopher's stones? Like I said, it must have the synth one T plus three. As you can see here, I used an essence, and I changed the effect into a plus uh, three. Yep, that's it. I'm gonna show you by the way how where you can get the the dragon eyes at the end of this video as well. So the the other things they don't matter. The main thing is the synth. 20 plus 3 because what happens is when you are going to create an ancient philosopher's stone you are going to get one but when you add a synth quantity three you are going to get three more you know you know what I, what I mean so this is why when we add uh, one philosopher's stone one ether engine so that's plus three plus three which so is uh, six then we add ten cross cartridges each one of them is plus three so we'll get 36 so 36 six plus one this is why we get 37 so I'm gonna do the uh, essence here again for the uh, the ether engine. Sorry for the cross cartridges. So yeah, main thing synth quantity plus three. This is the main thing. And now uh, this is done as well. Uh, now we're gonna go to to the ether ether engine. By the way, so just create one and duplicate it. I know initially we need a bunch of gems to duplicate them. Uh, just go around in the t uh, anywhere and any of the maps just gather up uh, materials if you know an area uh, which has like good uh, uh, Stones or something like that which you can reduce to gyms then that would be great. Uh, I usually go into the late areas and Just reduce them into gyms which then I will use to duplicate initially I will use them to duplicate then of course I will have a lot of uh, gyms and like I said you don't need uh, the essence uh, we're just using the essence to get just the quantity plus three uh, Quantity plus two is enough if you don't have the essences, but I think for sure you'll have them So this is why I'm telling you to use them uh, and, and I'm gonna show you at the end of the video uh, about the materials that you need 
uh, don't worry about the quality the only reason that I'm opening the quality and the traits here because I want to get into the effect number two because that's the one we need to use the essence on and to get the synthetic uh, synthetic quality uh, quantity sorry quantity plus three and these items the ether cores the dragon eyes and all of these things are, are gathering uh, gems initially I'm just gonna talk to you about them uh, at the end of the this video just just now by the way make sure you always have one uh, in your you know in your container so you don't run out of them you don't have to make them again so just duplicate them always have one so yeah where can we get the the what's called the red dragon eye we can actually get it in the valley of winds go to the flower patch cape here we have a, a giant monster defeat that giant monster and it usually he drops or it drops one or two uh, dragon eyes it's very easy to beat especially uh, later in the game uh, this is uh, around like mid game or early in the game so by the time when you are doing this philosopher thing this should be an easy uh, easy kill so just go all the way he will run away from you if you are because you're gonna be way 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 over leveled uh, to, to just like uh, you know fight him so this is where we get uh, the dragon eyes uh, this is as you can see just just few hits and he's gonna be done by the way, there are a bunch of more areas, but uh, this is the, the easiest one that I found. And the drop rate is, is quite actually high uh, for this monster. So this is why. As you can see, I'm just going to show it to you how much are we going to get. As you can see, oh, I, just, I just skipped it. But yeah, we got two. <laughs> we got two. Yeah, the next method for the ether core, we actually need uh, the mystic seeds. So we're going to use the plant seeds, unlock the, the recipe for the plant seed, which is here at the top. And using the plant seeds, we will unlock the other uh, seeds, which is the water seed. And from the water seed, so as you can see, we can unlock the water seed uh, recipe. From the water seed recipe, we will unlock the mystic seed. So when you're doing, when you're creating the mystic seed, there are two things that we need to focus on, which is the rather, uh, rare gatherer and the uh, gatherer quantity. So the quantity should be up, the, the rare should be up. But for the growth rate, it does not matter, to be honest. The main two things are the rare, uh, L and the gatherer quantity L. The growth, we don't have to worry about it. Just create one and duplicate it. Then go to the farm and uh, just, you know, just uh, plant them. Then go sleep for like a day or two or three max. If you have the high growth, it will be, they will grow fast. So just uh, sleep for a few days and uh, come back and they are going to be ready for you to pick up. As you can see, uh, I have a bunch of them. I have the low quality. I'm not going to use. These are the best ones, the S class. As you can see, I modified them with the item uh, rebuild. But make sure you don't surpass your level, by the way. So as you can see, it's very easy to get most of the items that you want. It's an easier way to get the items. As you can see, I'm just going to get an ether uh, core by by now. I, I got one. So yeah, this is the fastest method to get the ether cores. You don't need to like worry about drops or anything like that. But yeah, uh, about the getting items or, or gems, you know, like a normally. For me, I'm just going to go to the near the end uh, game. I'm going to go to the dens. Uh, this is the end uh, map. So what I'm going to do here, by the way, you can do this anywhere. You don't have to like go specifically. Uh, there's no specific area. So I'm going to go to the spirit's tomb. Here I am in the spirit's tomb. So just go grab a bunch of material and and just uh, go and reduce them into the gyms. Of course you're gonna, this is a, a much repetitive way and, and you get a, a lot less gyms but what to do. If you don't have the ancient philosophers thing, this is the method uh, to get gyms uh, fairly easy. And by the way, you can do this anywhere, just, just find the latest map or the, the final map that you have unlocked, gather the materials from there and just go and sell them. The unknown crystal or the underworld crystal uh, will give you around thousand and something gems per crystal. So I'm just gonna get a few thousands actually here. So I'm just gonna repeat this and I'm gonna get a bunch of gems. So yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for sharing our videos. I know this video was a bit long but I wanted to explain everything for you so you can see what I'm doing exactly and hopefully it helped uh, or just made your life easier. But yeah guys, as always, thanks for the support, thanks for liking and sharing our videos, and stay awesome.
できた何がいいかなうまくいくかな何がいい